Shout out to everyone watching in Malaysia. Shout out to Alvin the Chickmunk in Malaysia. Thank you uh, for your support. Uh, everyone in Thailand, Indonesia, thank you so much for watching. Uh, what else? Uh, everyone on lockdown. Stay safe. All right, so I had a request to show how to condition uh, the rough out. So right here I have the 8113 uh, Iron Rangers in um, Hawthorne uh, Mule Skinner. I also have here uh, the Picos 8188 in the same uh, Hawthorne uh, Mule Skinner, which is um, one of my favorite leathers because it goes so well with everything. I have... Um, when I first got these, what I did is I sprayed this here, this leather protectant. This is from a place in New York City called Leather Spa. Uh, this was the only thing I put on them initially uh, when they first arrived. I did not put anything on these. Uh, I don't think I sprayed these. Red Wing recommends uh, this leather protectant. They also recommend, uh, well, for the cleaning process, it's the uh, New Buck Suede cleaner so there's an eraser and a brush here this is what they recommend and then they also recommend putting mink oil but i did not want to apply mink oil because i did not want to darken uh, these boots so i wanted them to just do their natural thing um, but what i did with the um, with my iron rangers is i contoured them so um, i wanted to there were some high high and low spots and, and contrast so what I wanted to do is just kind of um, bring those out. So if you see some of these areas here are darker and some are lighter. So what I did is I took the eraser and just went over certain spots to lighten them and left the others darker. Um, these honestly aren't um, dirty. If I ever have any... Um, dirt or dust, I usually would just take this brush here and just go over and give it the once over. Uh, but I don't usually wear them in the elements so that they don't get like mud. It's usually a, a summer boot for me. Um, or I think I wore these out in the rain once just an experiment just to see what would happen. Just to see like how it would take the rain and it did well. It darkened them a bit. So if you look at this same leather, um, but these are a bit darker. You can tell there's a difference because these went out in the rain and these have not been out in the rain. Also, before someone requested um, I make this video, I took this eraser to this boot because it had some spots and had some dark, dark spots, some dust on it because I went to the dog park and the dog stepped on my boots and they had some dirt that was kind of like mixed into the suede so i just kind of took like this eraser to it um but same leather and you can see these are much older these have uh, been worn um but yeah I, I actually like this color a lot more than this i would like for uh the picos to take on this color um i think that's just with time and wear and possibly even honestly getting them wet but we'll get we'll get there later Okay, so um, these, like I said, what I do is I just take the eraser when I want to clean them and uh, just, you know, go across any spots, rubbing that in there and then just brushing that off. And then I leave them. I don't finish them with a spray um, or any, anything, any mink oil. I just leave them as is. So um, I'm not going to do these because um, I think they're fine and like the way they look and they're good. But I'll do that with these for you guys. I will go ahead again and show you um, some spots on here that I will attack with the eraser and then just give that a brush. So you can see, uh, let's see if I can find any spots on here that may need. So this is uh, the crocking from the denim, which I, I like that look all the way up to the top here. The denim just bleeds on there, and I like that look. I know some people don't like that, and they want their boots to maintain throughout, but I actually don't mind that so much. So uh, let's see. Where where can I start? Let's move this one to the side. Let's see. 
what I would normally do is just get in here just like this kind of using my hand in the inside and pushing back on the leather just to help it. If I had a um, shoe tree in here, that would help as well, or a boot tree. Now I know if you have um, some stubborn stains on this leather, what you could do is you can wet this eraser and that would help. If you um, watched my um, review or my cleaning that I did with the Rovers, the 2953s I think it was, I had a, a dark spot on there that I was trying to remove and then I ended up putting mink oil on the boots and actually looked really nice in the end. So there, so you have that, and then you just give it a little brush to get all the uh, excess off of there. So, um, what? I have like if you're washing your hands um, or if you, um, yeah, mostly if you're washing your hands, you go from washing your hands, you go to grab a towel, you'll get some drops on your boot. Uh, some, I haven't really worn these in the rain or if I'm walking and maybe it's starting to rain and I'm you know trying to get back inside. Sometimes you'll have little spots. This is a, a good way to remove those as well. Just take the eraser. Sometimes I just even use my, my hand or my finger, so I have a wet spot. And then once it's kind of uh, starting to dry, if you just rub your index finger on that like that, it comes right out. So look, I don't know if you can see how this, this goes. If you go up versus going down, so this is lighter, see the lighter color? And going up, it's darker. I don't know if you can, if that's showing up on camera, but. I prefer having the darker going up. All right, so I'm going to let this one sit and I'm going to move on to the next boot. Okay, so I have the other boot and um, this one, the suede, the nap is kind of, you can see it's a little bit more um, loose, a little bit more furry than this, than the other one that I just had here. Um, than this one here. Not sure why that is. I'm just gonna check this. Yeah. I really like how the uh, the denim has crocked on these. Too. Um, so let's go ahead and do this one for you guys. I know the 80, 8083 is a really um, popular boot, as well as the 3340, I think it's the 3344, uh, or 43, 3344. Uh, those are Hawthorne, the Blacksmith Hawthorne, and then the Iron Ranger Hawthorne, which I have the, um, the original with the nitrile cork. And the one thing I like about this leather is that 
um, like I had shown you in, with the other boot, is that it's always different. You can have the same exact boot and it will look different. Just depending on, especially as they wear, depending on how you've worn the boot. Sometimes just coming out of the factory, they're different because the boot gets um, treated before it leaves. And it's always, it could just be, you know, heavier in one spot, heavier in another, where, wherever they've applied the um, conditioner. But I kind of like when it gets, so like in this part here where this gets rubbed a lot, it gets kind of, um, um, the best way to put it is kind of like murky, muddy, sometimes even tacky. I like the way that when this leather gets like that. I know some people like when it's furry. That's fine too, but I like when it's, um, gets more of that kind of like the Spitfire, the Spitfire look. My 81, 89s have that, that feel to them where it's more like set in. I wonder if you can see that lighter, darker. up these um, eraser shavings. This is with the eraser and just the buff. So I think I may try and put this leather protector. So this is um, uh, seals out water, uh, stains, and dirt is what this uh, they claim this does. And it is for oil tanned, dry tanned, suede nubuck, which this is, um, and waterproof. So this is um, safe for all of those leathers. Let's try it. Let me give it a shake. And so they say, um, make sure boots are clean and dry. Yes, boots are clean and dry. Hold bottles six inches away from the leather. Spray over the entire surface. And then it says dry footwear at room temperature. All right, so let's try it. I normally would put this on, but let's try this. Let's see what Red Wing's offering. You may be able to tell the difference. Yeah, you can see the difference there. Interesting. So you could see here where it's hit and it hasn't hit here. So I may have to, and honestly, like if you're walking in a puddle, that's going to get, you know, wet. So I may have to just take the boot this way and just give it a once over. All right.
Okay. Looking good. The one thing I like about uh, the Picos and the engineers is that there's no lacing. So it's just <laughs> slip these bad boys on. The crocking looks good. All right, so I'll let these dry and then they should be good to go. So that is how I condition the Red Wing 8188 Picos in the Hawthorne Mule Skinner leather. Thank you so much for watching and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.